that next target, and I'd mention VSTO, Fist Outdoor Incorporation, a company in the consumer cyclical sector, on a solid break below the symmetrical triangle off the 2020 December gap, would offer an objective short trade entry, if not dollar cost average, get out of your longs, and this was good for, good for a 20% crash. And I had just added my previous studio, this 2828 price support. Uh, especially if you're an active and or day trader, you could have swung this right back up to my 3021 price resistance here. Good for a 5% scalp in just one day, especially the options traders out there. You don't, I don't have to tell you how much 1% could put in your pocket. And uh, really what's so significant now here in the charts, here off the daily interval, is uh, we have not confirmed but potential positive divergence here on the RSI. If we can get that bounce further to the upside, we could uh, potentially get that uh, divergence on the MACD and oscillator as well. Um, if we go to gun to take out this 2828 price support, which is pretty, pretty solid support, I, in my opinion, especially this 2704 with uh, multiple and continuous reactionary lows and highs to help validate that would spell for a bearish, a bear flag, continue bearish flag continuation pattern, in my opinion. Uh, if we start to take out uh, some of these minor trend lines and or 28, 28 price support. Really, uh, um, all eyes, in my opinion, I believe all traders' eyes will be really focused on that 28, 28 price support and 2704 uh, price support, in my opinion. So we'll see what happens. But we, we take that out. There's going to be uh, some pretty big damage. Again, this is a sell signal based off the secondary uh, primary down uh, primary up trend line. So anything's possible um, here off that 20 percent crash, you know, um, Maybe you go to gain a bounce here, but 20% in gains, 20% in your pocket. Uh, hey, take the money and run. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll keep you updated if I see any more uh, significant development here on the daily interval. We'll zoom out here on the weekly. And these are my uh, dollar cost average uh, price targets for any long-term investors out there. You know, we had that, we put in that huge dual bottom here and uh, had a massive thousand percent rally. Uh, we have this uh, 2816 price support coinciding with the coinciding with the 50% uh, FIBS retracement there. Oh, that's really darn good support. Uh, next target right there, that 2382 price support, coinciding with the 2285 price support off the 382 FIB retracement. Uh, amazing uh, uh, dollar cost uh, average um, averaging here. You know, if uh, if you, uh, if we take out, if we take out this uh, price, price support out, that's uh, some of the key levels a lot of traders will be watching, but Again, if you're uh, if you are ultra bullish on this company, these these are where you're gonna buy your dollar cost averages uh, based on. Hey, if we put in that bottom, guess what? You've been buying the dip here. You've been buying the dip here, especially at these uh, big big support pivotal inflection points. And uh, you know, if this stock starts to take off uh, in the uh, you know in a in a, in a uh, long term longer term uh, bigger direction. Every single time you dollar cost averaged, uh, once this thing goes out to take new all time highs, you're going to have a very small dollar cost average and a uh, big move to the upside on your money when you uh, average down your position. So hit that like, subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, I'll update you if I see any significance here in the charts with the uh, Vista Outdoor Incorporated.